Hello, in this video I'll be showing you the fabrication process of installing a iPad in a 2011 Hyundai Sonata. In my last video I talked about the different options I considered and how I decided that integrating a 9.7 inch iPad in portrait mode is exactly what I was looking for, just like the Tesla and other new high-end cars. I bought a dash kit from Korea that we will be using for this process in order to have enough room to mount the iPad and retain the AC controls in the lower area where the storage pocket used to be. I made a lot of contacts trying to find an installer who could fabricate the piece and I came across five field fabrications based out of California. I took a look at their work and found they had a lot of experience making iPad mounts and fabricating them in people's dashboards. I came across these pictures where he was working on a mount for a Kia Sorento and was very surprised as it kind of looks similar to my Hyundai Sonata and I was very impressed with the result. I gave them a call and heard from Jamie Fifield right away. He was very easy to work with and I told him what I wanted to do. We discussed a few options to fit my budget and we came up with a plan. I FedExed him the pieces and in just over a week he had finished the project. Throughout the process he took lots of great pictures which I'll be showing to you now. So this is the piece he had to work with. Notice the bottom is kind of open. So in the first step he closed up that hole at the bottom. But if you look at the air conditioner controls, which is going to sit up right against it, you'll notice there's a challenge because it's not exactly smooth and uniform. There's a slope there and there's a dip that has to be filled in. So he did his best uh, trying to make the angle just right so that when they come together, it will all be one uniform piece and there won't be any gaps. You'll notice there's two pieces of blue tape in the middle and that's where the single DIN radio will be mounted. He's able to cut through the kit so that the radio can be mounted behind it and things like the volume knob and buttons will be recessed just enough so that the back of the iPad will not rub up against it. I sent him a lot of pictures and measurements of this part so he could get the fit just right. And I'm glad I did because in the end you'll see that it fits perfectly. Here he's taken the iPad kit that he's made and he's starting to fit it into my kit. And here he's cut away most of the original kit so that there's enough space to fit his kit inside of it. And here's the cutout I was speaking about earlier where the single DIN radio will go. Now he's shaved it down even more to fit inside of the Sonata dash kit. Here you'll see the very unique method he uses to bond the two pieces together. He actually heats the plastic and melts it together and this creates a very strong bond. And you'll see in the next few steps where he starts to smooth this out and it will start to take shape. You can see now where he's put in some filler and started to sand it down to get the smooth uniform look. Here's the first coat of paint. At first I was a little scared when I saw this one because it was so glossy, but in the end it was actually a matte finish. And this is how you'll mount your single DIN deck into the kit. There's two little walls there. You just simply drill holes to line up with the screw holes in the side of your deck. And here it is. Here's the final product with that silver trim ring added back on top. It all is smooth. It all looks uniform and very factory looking. I was very pleased with how this turned out and I couldn't wait to get it shipped back to get it installed. Unfortunately during the shipping process the kit kind of slid out of the protective bag and rubbed up against the cardboard box I used. The summer heat kind of melted the cardboard onto the bottom of the kit and made this mark. It wasn't super noticeable but enough that I wanted to fix it. I called up Jamie and he sent me some pictures of the exact paint and sandpaper he used so that I could refinish it myself and have everything match. I went to Home Depot and bought the supplies and after some wet sanding and a few more coats of paint I was able to remove the mark and make it look brand new again. I really appreciate Jamie helping me out with this. He could have easily ignored me or charged me more money to get it fixed but he's just not that kind of guy. Here's the back of the kit. You can see where the lightning cable is glassed in at the bottom. You can also see the cutout where the single DIN is going to be. I did some test fitting. I found everything lined up perfectly. Here you can see how it's recessed just enough so that volume knob doesn't stick out and rub up against the iPad. The first step you'll need to measure that where the screw holes are on your single DIN. Line that up with the side rails on this kit. Drill the holes. This is the longer screw and the two types of washers I use to make sure that it screws in all the way and has a nice secure fit. One thing I didn't talk about was the airbag and seatbelt lights. On the base model Sonata, they're different. They're in a little strip at the top where the clock is. On the limited model, they're on the side, opposite of where the hazard lights button is. The kit from Korea was based off of the base model Sonata, so rather than having a blank space on the side, 
they actually filled it in with a place where you could wire up a USB jack and SD card slot. I had no use for these, so I had Jamie drill them out and open up the hole so that I could retain the factory airbag light and seatbelt indicator and put them in that same spot. The size was a little bit different, and there were no screw holes to screw in the original part, so I got creative and used Sugru, which is like a soft moldable clay that hardens after a few hours. I used this to make a place I could screw in the part on the back, and then some more on the front to fill in the gap and make a nice rounded border around the button. It turned out great, and at this point, it's ready to be installed in my car, which is what you'll see in the next video. Huge shout out to Jamie over at Fifield Fabrications. They did an amazing job with this kit, and I definitely recommend them for all your fabrication needs. Check them out at FifieldFabrications.com or on Facebook. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.